What's up guys, Jorgen here. Cabas is a French audio manufacturer that just have released the Cabas Stream Bar. So let's jump into this review about it. Cabas Stream Bar is a sound bar combined with a subwoofer. And the nice thing here is that they are connected wirelessly, so no wires is needed for the connection between the sound bar and the subwoofer which increases the possibilities where you can place your subwoofer, so they need only their own power cable. The design is quite cool with its rounded shape, and the whole outside of the soundbar is covered with black fabric, and underneath the fabric on the front is a buttons and a panel showing connection type and volume, so it's a very clean design where everything is hidden. Underneath you have a rubber feet for protection against scratches and vibrations, you also get a wall mount, so you can mount it on the wall if you like. The subwoofer is also covered with the black fabric on the sides and have a black shiny surface on the top, so the subwoofer also have a clean design. On the back is the connection for the power cable and a pairing button. On the back of the soundbar you have a wide range of connections, so you can connect the soundbar to different sound sources. Uh, even Bluetooth and uh, Wi-Fi, so you have a wireless connection to different streaming sources like Spotify and Internet Radio. You can control some basic function with the front buttons on the soundbar, but you also get a small remote where you can control the soundbar. It feels a bit uh, tiny and the buttons are small and it's hard to see the function if it's a little bit dark in the room. And then you have to aim it at the soundbar, so the IR is not the best on the remote. But then you have the app for uh, phones and tablets. The software is fast and works really well, maybe not the sexiest interface and some function seems to be on some web page, but overall so does it work really well. Something that I like is the sound that Kebase Stream Bar delivers. The Stream Bar have two tweeters for mid bass and to that they have the wireless 100 watt subwoofer. And they all work well together to deliver a well balanced and clear sound for coming from the soundbar. So overall did I get a good impression of the Kebase Stream Bar. Well guys, it's time to end up this review here, but be sure to subscribe and like so you don't uh, miss the next review. And if you'd like to have uh, updates about upcoming reviews and other tech stuff, add me on uh, Twitter or Instagram. And you can find the links in the description below. But for now, over and out.